So here I'm going to create my own uh, function, and I'll just call it, you know, you can call it square or whatever you want to call it. I'll call it square. So let's see how we're going to do this. Well, the first thing we're going to do is let's use a repeat loop because we want to make a square, right? This is just like that other one. This is almost exactly like the one we did in, in the previous problem. So it's four, a square is four sides, so we'll make that a four. And we're going to say we're going to move forward. And then we're going to say we have to pick the lettuce, right? Forward, pick lettuce. Then we're going to move forward again and turn to the right. And we turn to the right. And then we're going to do that again. Forward, pick lettuce. Forward, turn to the right. Forward, pick lettuce. Forward, turn to the right. And then we have our forward, and we're going to pick the lettuce. Okay, so let's take a look at that uh, function here with our square. We'll just call this square. Okay, so we have the right idea here. We have the right idea. Now we, what we have to do is we have to turn to the right, and we'll see if we can go this way now. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll turn to the right, and now we'll do this one. We'll go forward, pick lettuce, forward, turn to the right, forward, pick lettuce, forward, turn to the right, forward, pick lettuce, forward, turn to the right, forward. Okay, so we have our function here, so it makes it easier for us. So the function, we just put the square in again and it gets it right done. Now we turn to the right, it goes this way. Okay, we only have a few more left. Wow, this one's a little bit tricky, right? So <laughs> this is similar to that last one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing what we did last time with that square. Okay, so functions will make this one easy to do. So remember we did our square last time. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to go repeat four times for our square up, for our square, forward pick lettuce, forward pick lettuce, pick lettuce, forward and right forward and then right and then you go to functions and you go to square now let's do the same thing we did with the previous one okay so we're going to turn to the right and then let's do that function again let's put that square in there okay let's take a look Okay, so now she turns to the right. Now, what we got to do is we got to get her facing the other direction now. Okay, we got to get her facing the other direction. So the way you could do that is you turn to the right, and you turn to the right, and then she's going to have to go forward, forward. So I'm going to action, action, forward, forward. And let's just take a look at how, how that looks at this point. So let's stop there. Okay, good. So that gets her to this section. And then just the next thing we have to do is we have to, she's going to have to go forward and she doesn't want to go to her right here because it's going to take her in the wrong direction. So what we want to do is we want to get her to turn to the left, turn to the left. And then once she does that, then she could do her square. Because you see, if we run this program, if she doesn't turn to the left, she's going to go forward, pick lettuce, forward, and then she's going to turn to the right. She's going to go this way. So we don't want that to happen. We want it to turn to the left. That way she goes forward, pick lettuce, forward, turn to the right, and then she does the square again. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to look at all of our functions here. So we have uh, pick along path, and we also have uh, get all the pumpkins, and we also have checks, uh, check for corn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another function, and I'm going to make the function like we did last time. I'm going to make it the square function because these are squares again, right? So I'm going to make a square function, and what am I going to say for our square function? I'm going to say, you know, we're going to do this four times because it's a square, so I'm going to say repeat four times because it's a square. And what are we going to do? We're going to say um, pick a long path and turn to the right. Okay, because pick a long path does this one. It gets us all those. It, it gets it checks everything over here and it gets all the pumpkins. So let's do this. Let's do um, let's do a pick a long path functions. Pick a long path. 
and then we have to turn to the right. Let's just see how that goes here. So we're going to, that, that's our square function that I just created. Functions, square. Okay, so this runs the pick along path. Now it gets all of those. Okay, so that got us all of those. Okay, so we have all of those done. Okay, now what do we have to do next? Here's where it's tricky. We have to get all of them down here. So we're going to do turn to the right. And that will face us this way. Now we don't have any, we only have one more block left, right? So we can't just say, hey, turn right, forward, 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 forward. But the good news is this pumpkin, um, getting the pumpkins, we can use our functions because the pick along path had the check for corn, move forward, check for corn, move forward. And the square function here uses that and you turn to the right. So you could do another function square. See, the function saves you a lot of blocks. That's how you do it. So what this does here is it gets us repeat until there are pumpkins, check for corn, and then get all the pumpkins. And then you turn and you go over here. Now you turn around and you're running this again, checking for corn and moving forward. And you're turning to the right. Okay, so that, that the function makes it a lot easier. That was a tricky one. Okay, so number 13, we already have two functions here. We have pick along path and we have check for corn. Okay, so those are ones we are familiar with. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work on the stairs here. So let's make a, a function for that. Let's just call it uh, stairs. Okay, let's call it stairs. So how do we do this? Well, how are we going to do the stairs? What we're going to say is we're going to move forward and then we're going to turn right. And then we're going to move forward. And then we're going to turn to the left. And to the left, okay? But while we're doing that, we have to say, wow, well, there's lettuce, pick lettuce, okay? So let's take a look at this. Let's look at the um, conditionals. And we're going to say, oh, I'm sorry, loop. While there is lettuce, pick lettuce. And action pick lettuce. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's go to functions and let's go to stairs. Let's see how this works. Okay, so that worked, but it didn't do it enough times. So let's do this. Let's have it repeat. Let's have this repeat. Let's have this repeat two times. Okay, because we want this to go two times. So that's good. That got us there. Okay, that got us there. And now what do we have to do? Now we have to work on this area here. So we're going to call that a rectangle. Let's call that a rectangle. Okay, so how do you do a rectangle? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to say, while the path is ahead, okay, while the path is ahead, what are you going to do while the path is ahead? You're going to move forward. You're going to move forward. Okay. And then if there is corn, you could pick corn. Well, that's this thing. That's check for corn. Okay. So let's see. Let's just see how that works so far. Okay. So, oh, oh sorry. Now I, I have to add this one here. I have to add here the rectangle. Let's just see how this goes so far. Okay, so it gets us there, but what do we have to do? We have to turn left. So here we're going to have to turn left in our rectangle. After we go ahead, we go left. And then what do we want to do? We go left, and then we want it to do it again. We want it to go forward and check for corn. Then we do want it to do it again to go forward and check for corn. And we want it to do it again. So we want to do it four times because it's a, uh, a rectangle. So we're going to repeat that whole thing four times. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look how it looks. Okay, so, so far so good, but we're using too many blocks. So we're gonna have to work on um, getting less blocks here. So let's look at our rectangle, what we could do. We have, while the path is ahead, 
we could move forward and we could check for corn and then we could turn to the left so that's good but the problem is this is using up a lot of code here and what about our stairs we have two times forward right forward left pick lettuce okay now the last thing we have to do is we have to do this area down here again which is the stairs so let's do this and then we'll see if we could fix this up a little bit so first we do our stairs up there then we do our rectangle function and then we go down here and we do our stairs again okay so we did all of them here but what we have to do is we they want us to just have less um they want us to have less blocks so let's just look at how we could do this what we could do is we could check so what, what they want us to do is they want us to reduce the number of blocks. So what I could do is I could take this one here and I could throw that out and that will reduce the number of blocks here. And then what I could do is I could say I have less blocks now. So what I could do is I could say for this one here, turn to the left. Instead of using that function, I can say if there is corn, let's try this, if there is corn, Pick corn. Okay, so that's a that's a way that you can get under the number of blocks used. But you could throw out that uh, other one. It's okay if you went over. And then when you do this, it will work because you just run these functions over here. Now finally with this one we just look at the, the questions here and look at the functions defined below. What will the harvester pick? So let's look at this. Here's our harvester over here. While the path is ahead, check for corn and move forward. So he's going to get his corn and then he's going to turn to the right. While the path is ahead, check for corn. Then he's going to turn to the right and he's going to get produce. Now what does it say for produce? For produce, repeat until there is lettuce pick lettuce. Then he's got get old pumpkins, but he's not using that one there. So this one here, he's not really, he's only really checking for corn. He's not really checking for pumpkins. He's only checking for lettuce and corn. Okay. So he's not going to, he's not going to get any, uh, he's not going to get any pumpkins at all. So we're not going to choose that one. And so now that it only gives us C or D, he will pick the lettuce or he will pick the corn. Now what's this over here? This is lettuce, right? So let's see, maybe he'll pick the lettuce. Let's try that one. Okay, so that was our section on functions. It was a little trickier, but functions can be helpful to simplify our code so we could use them over and over again.